Posterior polar cataracts have always been a challenge for the surgeons. Posterior polar cataracts are the lens opacities that involve the subcapsular cortex and capsule of the posterior pole of the lens. After making two side port entries, rexis is initiated. Good capsular rexis is the important key point in any cataract surgery, especially in challenging cases. Ideally, we aim for a size of 4.5 to 5.5 mm. In this case of posterior polar cataract, rexis is important as in the case of posterior capsular rent, optic capture can be done. Main port entry is made with 2.8 mm keratome. Care should be taken to maintain the architecture of the entry to reduce post-operative astigmatism and moon leakage. A gentle hydrodelineation is performed. Appearance of the golden ring indicates a good hydrodelineation. Attempt to rotate the nucleus should be avoided as it can cause posterior capsular rent. Freco trenching is done in low power mode as it is a soft cataract and is done in layers. After cracking the nucleus, the probe is directed towards the core of the nucleus and aspirated. We can see the nucleus folding upon itself as it is being aspirated. Endonucleus is removed in similar fashion. After nucleus aspiration, visco is injected simultaneously without withdrawing the phaco probe to prevent the vitreous from thrusting forward, which can result in posterior capsular rupture. A careful bimanual irrigation and aspiration is done slowly and in circular fashion. After irrigation and aspiration, anterior chamber is formed with high density oculoviscoelastic devices and a new generation extended depth of focus IOL the suprafobe in focus is implanted. The suprafobe in focus IOL from Apasami is a new generation EDOF IOL with a unique design. It has two zones, central and periphery. Central has an add of plus 3.5 diopter which helps in visualizing near objects. And peripheral zone has an aspheric hyperbolic surface which helps in visualizing intermediate and distant objects. It is made of yellow hydrophobic acrylic material with an advanced 360 degree square edge technology making it almost PCO free. The advantage of this optical design is that it gives a clear distant, good intermediate and acceptable near vision with minimum to no halos without the loss of contrast sensitivity as the dispersion of light is minimal when compared to multifocal IOLs. We in MNI Hospital have implanted this lens in 40 patients. The results were good with high patient satisfaction. The range of vision is plotted on a graph and what patient sees is very promising. These days, the demand for the intermediate vision is more due to the increased usage of mobiles, iPads and tablets as this lens provides good intermediate vision without the compromise of contrast sensitivity, patients are happy and the results are much better with the bilateral implantation due to faster neuroadaptation. After the IOL is implanted, it is dialed into position with good centration. After IOL implantation, anterior chamber is washed thoroughly.
anterior chamber is formed and pores are hydrated